Hey guys, today AJ and I are going to teach you guys how to tie a couple knots that we primarily use for bass fishing. Um, due to the Minnesota opener not actually opening up until this weekend, we're kind of limited in the type of content that we can provide you guys. Um, we thought it was a great idea and opportunity uh, to teach you guys how to tie a couple of knots that we use the um, majority of the time. AJ is going to cover how to tie polymer knot and we use that on 99% of our bass fishing applications. Um, and then I'm going to teach you guys how to tie a double uni knot. So um, a double uni knot is basically a knot that connects your braided main line into a fluorocarbon leader. And, and I guess the question would be, well, why do you want a fluorocarbon leader? Um, fluorocarbon in the water is essentially invisible. Um, uh, while braid can be, I mean, the fish can see braid. Um, so that's just one benefit. I do think you're going to get more bites. Personal, from my personal opinion, I do believe that I get more bites having that fluorocarbon leader on there. Um, and I don't have any issue. I've never had any issue with um, the knot actually breaking. It's never broken at the knot anyways. Um, so there's a lot of personal preferences when it comes to uh, fluorocarbon leaders. For instance, I only use on spinning gear. I don't use it on bait, bait casting equipment. Um, uh, it's light line, uh, so it's it's easier to manage on a on spinning gear. Um, the length of the leader I like is five to six feet. And the reason why I like that is because I fish a lot of tournaments. So when my fluorocarbon gets nicked, um, if I see a, a nick in the line or I feel like a, a little burr or something, I can cut that off. You know, let's say it's it's within six inches of the, the actual lure. I'll cut that off and I'll retie to my leader. Um, that way, every time I get have an issue with my line, my low carbon leader, I don't have to retie the actual uh, double uni knot. So, so I do believe I, I get more bites um, with that leader on there, um, primarily because the, the the line is invisible. Um, and again, I only use it on finesse setups. You know, I only use it on wacky rigs, Nico rigs, drop shots, um, stuff that I use on my spinning gear. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to tie that knot. It's pretty simple and for uh, the ease of watching and instructing how to tie this knot, um, I'm going to use uh, two pieces of rope. The black uh, rope is gonna represent fluorocarbon and the green is gonna represent braid. Um, they're interchangeable, it doesn't matter. That's just what I said in my head to make it sound right. So. And I'm exaggerating on the amount of line that I would uh, generally need, um, but it is thicker uh, rope, so I will need a little bit more to actually make the loops. So I guess we'll start out by, um, you're gonna have your line overlapping. I have the fluorocarbon tag end on this side. And what I'm going to do is make a loop with the fluorocarbon. And generally, I mean, you're gonna you're gonna have the overlapping line like this. You're gonna have your braid and your fluorocarbon. So once you have, once you make a basically a circle, you take your fluorocarbon, and it's going over the line and through that hole on the other side. So then you do this with with actual line. I do it uh, four to five times um, for this um, specific. Uh, demonstration I'm only gonna do it three times a piece so basically you have a uni knot on one side um, and this will just the standard uni knot will slide up and down the line so obviously this would not be a great knot to tie um, so then you at, at this point you take your other end you have the braided tag inside you make that loop again you have them overlapping each other right on top of one another and you feed your braid through this this time. Through that circle three times. Tighten it down as much as you can. It's easier with line. Anyways, so you have your braid main line into your fluorocarbon leader. Okay. So you have a uni knot, uni knot one each side, and then you have that overlapping line in the middle. So what you can do then is you're gonna take and pull on your braid main line and your fluorocarbon leader. And it's going to cinch down and form a tight knot, right? 
So to make it feed through your eyes and, and make castability uh, better, obviously, you're gonna cut your tag ends just like you would um, if you tie something directly to a hook. And the finished result is gonna look like that. Again, no problems breaking in my personal um, usage. Um, I don't have any issues with this th um, being thread through the eyes as well. So, so if you do use spinning tackle, you do use finesse lures like uh, the Nico rig that I have on here right now. Um, tie on a fluorocarbon leader and catch more fish. All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to tie a polymer knot. Um, I'm going to show you how to tie it using a chatterbait today. And like Austin said, it is one of the knots that we use basically on every lure. It is also one of the strongest knots for bass fishing. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your braided line, you're going to double it, and then I like to twist a couple times. So it's easier to put into the hook or chatterbait, whatever you're tying on. So you can see that. So then you're gonna take your chatterbait and you're gonna hook, you're gonna put the line through right there. And then you're gonna put it about halfway down and your line is still doubled. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a basic knot. So you're gonna loop the end of your line through and you're gonna pull down, but not all the way. And then you're gonna open up this side. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your chatterbait and you're gonna push it through like that. And then before you pull it tight, you're going to want to get your line wet. And then you're just going to pull it tight. So once you have the line pulled all the way tight and you can see it's all the way down on the lure, you're going to take the tail end and you're going to cut that off. I like to go pretty much right down to where the knot is, leaving just a little bit left so you're not cutting the knot out. But that is one of the strongest knots for bass fishing. All right guys, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed learning how to tie two of our favorite knots for bass fishing. Yeah guys, go um, tie on some polymer knots and some double uni knots and uh, good luck this year catching fish.